Maybe you've seen the headlines about coal tar pavement sealers used on driveways and parking lots. Surfaces like this flake off and leave the parking area. Contamination can enter homes and the environment. So much leaves the parking lot that one researcher said the increased cancer risk associated with coal tar sealed asphalt likely affects a large number of people in the U.S. All over North America, playgrounds still use coal tar sealants too. It exposes children to high levels of chemicals called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or PAHs. Coal tar sealants have the highest concentration of any common urban source. What if there was an easy way to see if exposure to these chemicals is really happening? The answer has been in plain sight. Well, sort of. I got a tip from an old timer who had worked with these chemicals at a hazardous waste facility. At the end of each day, the workers were tested for exposure. The technique has even been documented in these books. And more recently, this method was used to detect exposure to these same chemicals from the BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. In 2006, the city of Austin used black lights to detect coal tar sealers. I was surprised to see how easily it showed contaminated skin and lab surfaces. Now I want to show you what I saw. First, a trip to get an ordinary black light. Please read the precautions at the end of this video before trying this yourself. Here's my finger before exposure. I dip my index finger into a container of dried sealer flakes. All you see under normal light conditions are a few black spots. But under a black light, my finger glows like a firefly in the summertime. Even after washing with soap and water, it still glows. Now that you see what happens to human skin, it's time to be a bit more cautious. With a rubber glove, a quarter teaspoon of dried coal tar sealer, and just a touch of vegetable oil added to simulate the oil on skin, look at what happens. My entire palm is glowing. I thought I'd use a solution of oil and sealer to pose this question. Exposure like this happens every day to millions of Americans. If you too are concerned about this kind of exposure in your neighborhood, then get involved. Stop using this product. Find out if it's being used in your community. You contact us at Coltar Free America for more information or the web link connected with this video.